And here we are again. Following along with our playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Tis I, your humble narrator. Player. Gamer. Genial individual. The channel is Storm of Iron. And, um... Let's keep going. So I've already loaded in. We are back in Ravensthorpe, where we had ended. Also, that's a wolf that's howling. He's never done that before. So that's a new one. We are... pledged to... Jorvik, which is far to the north, and there's still all this ridiculous Yule stuff happening around us. That's fine. It's all fine. What does Rayda have to say to us today? Get a contract. Always interested. Okay. So we're at seventy five. Good day, good day. It's not too too bad. Have you got a contract for me? I have requested. And how many days do we have? We've got one day. Interested? Till this stuff resets. Oh. Odds are the target is dead. But this is available for 17 set. hours. And with your skills, this should not be a problem. I would need 100 opals for that. Uh, this would add today? one more piece to the berserker gear. Okay. So tell you what, uh, because we really want to get that Berserker set, well, I want to get that Berserker set, that's just me. I have to go. See you soon. You go on, I'll still be here. Oh, Gunner. Oh, Avar. Even when so I would like to a streak in him. hate to see it go that way, but you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. All right, Anyhow, so it's three. You probably need something to yeah. upgrade a weapon. I would like to see what you have in stock. So, hmm. You like the looks of that one? See what else we have available to us. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like sticking to the hammer. Uh, to, excuse me, to the axe. But I can get you that one easy. I do want to change it up just a little bit. And that's all it's currently equipped. And I could definitely upgrade the bow. I just kind of don't know. Hmm. Ah, that one's pretty good. Well, this isn't going to hurt anything, simply because of the fact that I have... Well, that's pretty cool. Whatever. 
I've just got quite a bit of materials at the moment, so it really isn't going to matter if I. Look how strong. Oh, that one looks good. You have a keen eye for quality. Oh, that's too bad. The previous one actually looked better than that. So I can either improve all of my pieces of gear. Which I haven't actually fully upgraded because of the materials anyways. Hunter bow. All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. That's a good question. So I guess what we can do is that what you want? See, I could upgrade it like that and get the final rune slot unlocked. Or we could push one of these further. We could also go... Ah, see, that's the problem. Always investing in bits and pieces of gear. I can get you that one easy. See, this one's good, though. Increase the attack. You know what? We've been using this all along, so why not? All right. So then we could also Yeah, see that mythical piece of armor unlocks a rune slot. Let's go for it. You have a keen eye for See what this looks like too. Slightly more elaborate. And those just open single new rune slots. Ah, look at how powerful it is now. Hmm. All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Let's go with this. Because the helmet actually doesn't improve any or well, we don't do anything with the helmet visually. Yeah, okay, so we will Party off the gods. So we go back to inventory and now we can do things like You like the looks of that one? So this rune slot. I do good work, I must say. Restore some health on parry. That we'll actually sounds pretty good. Friend. Increase attack, chance to deeds. poison your and weapon on parry. Um, we'll go health on parry. And then this one. Increase speed when surrounded by more than two enemies. We'll do that. Rain resistance, range damage, light resistance, elite. Melee resistance. How do we go 2.7 heavy resistance? We'll do that. Uh, so that's that. 
and then that's that. That one's set. Okay, so there we go. How about that? And let's just double check and see. Titanium, iron, leather. All right, we're doing okay. <laughs> we're spending way too many materials. Okay, so only 12 titanium left. Oh, but we've got 21 fabric, so. Oh! Sort of bit ourselves in the ass on that one. So we'll we'll wait for some more material there. All right. Okay, and we want to do some of Rada's because that is going to get us. So we have one there, one there, and I don't think I had anything else from yesterday. Yeah. So we're good. Alright, that works. So we will quick fast travel here. Because I do, even though I just spent all those materials on upgrading my gear, I do want to get the Berserker set. So if I'm able to get 25 more opals, which I don't know if I will, um, the Berserker breaches reset in 17 hours, I think it said. That axe does look pretty good. Maybe I'll swap over to another axe as well from the hammer. But let's see what happens when we get there. And back to this place, so that's not too, too bad. Quick little jaunt. Actually, it looks like my health bar got a little larger, too. <laughs> little buggers are fast. All right, fine. Got it. Oh, hello. His head just separated from his body. Right, carrying on. <laughs> Momentary interlude. Also, it's snowing outside again. And wherein we were only supposed to get slight flurries. 
it appears that uh, there's already a, a decent amount of accumulation. To which I'm not particularly thrilled about, but hey, whatever. I'm inside. That's out there. We'll go with it. Also, I'm not entirely sure who I am supposed to be murdering. But something tells me it's probably one of these guys walking by. opals. Alright, not too bad. So that puts it at 80 opals. You know, I don't even care if the Berserker Breaches are better than what I have. I just want a complete set. That's that's what I want. Uh, let's fast travel there. Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted to change the weapon in my offhand. Conveniently, there was a reminder right there. Well, what do you know? Alright, leave command. Allow me to leave the boat, please. So, that's 118 attack, 46 speed, it's 55 speed, weight 9, weight 11, heavy critical hits knock enemies on the ground. Actually, that's not too bad. Increases heavy damage after each light hit. You know, I may just hang with that, although... This one increases speed after each hit. So that's already attack 88. Ah, not enough materials. So... Actually, you know what? It's got a definitely higher stun. Crit, yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of the better weapon right there. Also, I still have to finish whatever that dude wanted me to do. Which I could never figure out what the hell it was I was doing there anyways. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was quite simple. She got him. Whoa. I did not expect to be set upon by this many wolves. So the interesting thing about the auto loot skill, killing certain animals actually gives you back a portion of your health because I'd imagine he's cooking something or eating something or whatever it is. But um, yeah, so if you're in a bunch of creatures and you're killing them fairly consistently. There's kind of no way to die from it, I guess. This area is off limits. All right, let's escape. I do need heron beaks, though. Favor you, Raven Bearer. Perfect. Okay. Five more opals. And that is a heron beak. Okay. Talk to this weird dude. Oh, okay. I thought I did this, but apparently I didn't. Jumping that doesn't work. fire. Okay, so it's all poison. I get that. Need to be careful here. So how come I couldn't just walk in and deal with that? All right. Whatever. Trap. 
to Elfheimer. If I had my eyes, I would show you with splendor myself. A land of endless mist. Please, Alfheimer, you say? Have you drunk a seer's concoction? No. I am as blind as they come. However, the light elves guide me through this realm, and I sense it. The path is fraught with delight. Energies the light elves dropped. And at the end... See, I tried doing this early paradise. on. Wind. Blue. The wind blew higher than all the realms, and I get higher sidetracked. Than Valhalla itself. I use the magic balls of Muspel, lit by the light elves, to guide me. We will see the wind blew together. Please illuminate the path into Elfheimer. Ah. What? I sense the light elves, the luxury of their strong souls. Here they are. Are you from here? I hail from Zila. You killed him! Die! All right. What the hell just happened? Yeah, I was ambushed. Also, I don't know where the hell this guy is. Oh, there he is. Okay, I remember. Your family, well, back in friends, Zealand, but no need. I have the light elves whom love care for me now. Yeah, because last time so I completely inadvertently lit here, the boat on fire. The final leg to this journey. Yes. Here. This is the path. The wind blows across the Swan Road. I can see it. River Steen will be needed to cross. Careful now. We don't want to attract any unwanted attention from the dark elves. Okay. Oh, how they haunt me. Court in there, or did until the dark elves came. Path to the wind blew. So that's all I had to. Eh, I don't know. You can have your wind blue now in peace. I get a bag of ah, yes. eyes. The realm is uh, for now. Let's uh, hey, let's take a look, shall we? Dried old eyes that were removed by Wigman during battle. 
He has kept them, as they bring luck to those who have them. If magic is true, once he finds the wind blue, they will come to life and give sight to the sorry. That's peculiar. All right. So, I do need more supplies. And a raid is always a good way to get more. So, why not raid a monastery? <laughs> why not indeed? because it seemed like a good idea at the time. Who are these guys? Uh, they're not nice guys, we'll put it that way. Come on, stop running. Submarine horse. What's this? already I don't recall I guess not minor headhunter wound And we draw ever closer. <laughs> well, nothing in there, I suppose. Uh. 
Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta get as many of these as we can because we've run out of materials. Or well, with my frivolity of upgrades. I mean, sometimes you just got to figure out what works best. Although I do like the fact that the hammer does have that stun on crit, which is kind of huge. Also, I don't know what crosses a river quicker, whether it be me on a horse or swimming. can't raid just yet. Closest is right here. Yeah, that, um, that second assassination isn't exactly the quickest. shall start a raid. All these extra weapons here. Get behind if you can. Oh. 
That just had a door. Okay. This will at least be good for one or two settlement upgrades. Twenty raw materials. Materials, 200 supplies. Look, must be treasure. <gasps> Go to split you. Right, what do we got in here? <laughs> Give me a hand over here. Ooh. Yeah, but there's still a little bit more stuff. left uh, just wherever that is right down there I've also got two more skill points to invest in real quick Just so we can get the health. Oh, and that's more stun. We should probably also try to advance into that. So it is inside here. Or supposedly. 
Yes, there it is. Okay. Supplies, silver. Nothing else. Okay. That was a hell of a tuck and roll. All right, now back to the map. Let's see what we have to do. Well, we are right near Ravensthorpe, so... We could uh, improve the village a little bit. But then there is also this stuff up here. Repton, so that's power level of 250. And that's right on our way up into Northumbria, into Jorvik. So you know what? Let's start our little journey right here and see where that gets us. All right. My fancy looking boat. Whatever that is. And this is just all gold materials. So you know what? Let's uh Let's take the boat around. Just to make this slightly easier, I suppose. And I do like this weird little frosty mist that's coming off of it. may have beached us. Scary's scribblings over the frozen tundra where we crept and crawled, where we dined on meat in the largest of halls. To the windswept fields of these English lands, both tattered and rich, the soil and sand. Through trenches and gallows, feet calloused and sore, to this lonely isle where I raid no more. 
where I ready my ship to sail off full mast in hopes I find peace for this Huga outcast. Dare to sing a song. Help me pass the time. Come here, Raider. Have a sit with me. Hear a story. My warring days are behind me. I've gone from sitting beside a big oak tree with a view of the docks to sitting here on this lonely isle with a view of my past. Where does one go from here? Oh. Well, hello, Juju Beans. How are you? That song. You have spent some days in a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt blasted hair. Talk of pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Star like do better keep away from the You're all up on the game. <laughs> you are very quick and sturdy by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. As you clean and organize, I am afraid. finally sitting Dead down. Wait, as they say, I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Oh, oh. Not many of well, us thank you. They lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out in the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. Would like to add to it. Take this key. If you find yourself in Repton, seek out Scary's my quarters house near key. the docks. There's a large tree out front. Inside, you will find a few of my most prized in items. Repton. Take. Where's Repton? I no longer have any need. You honor me. Okay, this is Call Repton. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. So the house by the docks. Odin, guide your way. I'm kind of just, like, wandering about at the moment. So there's a tree. Let's see if that's actually a, a quest or not. Yule Festival, no. I need to find where this guy's house is. Because Repton is right here, after all. kinds of stuff around here, but I don't know exactly where is this it? Scary's journal. Uba Ragnarsson has banished me from the camp. This comes on the heels of another battle in which I warred far more with my tongue than I did with my axe. It is time to let it lay, he said. He is right. I no longer wish to fight, to raid, to kill. These things have not enlivened place. my body or my hugur for many years place. now. It may be I only needed to hear it from another. For that, I thank the son of Ragnar for bringing to light what I failed to see. What lies before me now, I do not know. This I will sit and ponder. three hours of Subnautica, or well, 
till 3 a.m. Subnautica. What's this? Studded bracelet. And what do we find? Iron ore and leather. A leer. Another note. That's an idea. It's not everything. Stuck how like you can't go any further or this crazy just are in a in a spot that's Must have beyond some little bit of advancement. Out. I should return this crate to the old raider. Storyline stuck. Fortunately enough for this game, it's very difficult to get stuck on anything because there's just so much to do. Don't put it in the fire. Trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You will want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. Hmm. That is That's an interesting way of looking at things. Admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will All of that speak mythology of you is so just that incredible. when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell. Although I will say that Subnautica game is just absolutely bonkers. Perfect. There we go. It seems like it's a massive game. Like, there is just so much to it. But then again, this is also a game that has a massive world. Woden's Eye. Alright, where am I going? 
Uh, okay. Tell you what, I'm going there, and then I'm going there. So I'm kind of headed in the right direction. I did find out I can purchase it on the PlayStation Store if I was so inclined to. Although that would mean getting completely involved in entirely another very in-depth layered style of game. True. Very true. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> addictive personality much. Oh, what? I think there's a Dark very long time for after Valhalla. Where is... Why is there a key down there? there? Must be some sort of cave. I don't feel like I've even scratched the surface of this game yet. Okay, so... There has to be a way... Underground here. This is a very blighted bit of landscape. Malevolence. Oh, damn, didn't see that one. opening on this side. Or, or boars. Yeah, it's very dark and foreboding over here.
Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's use the crow. Because I'm obviously missing something. So there is something down there. There was a blocked so off well on top over here. This cliff face? Hmm. I don't see any cave openings. This is particularly unusual. water coming out of the cave there. I wonder. No, it can't be. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Or perhaps what's this? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Now we'll go find it. Into the earth we go.
admitting load door key. Some titanium. Troll cursed corruption lurks here. This is bizarre. Warning. If you are reading this, you need to leave. This place this forsaken tomb will drive you mad. I write this as the blood of my brothers drips from my fingers. Something, someone forced my hand. I cannot explain this, but treasure can be found elsewhere. Turn back while you can. Drag myself through some spider webs. Tungsten. Ooh, more tungsten. Okay. That's cool. One and two titanium. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Destroy the curse symbol. Now we can get out of here. And then we can go see what this other piece of gear is up there. And a delightful splash of carbonated non-alcoholic beverage. One cannot have one's phone freaking out. That is an unfortunate circumstance. find out what's up with this piece of gear here. Sherwood Forest! You don't say! Whatever this is up here.
Lord, save us all if we ever have to rely on you lot to defend us with bows. Remember, faint aim never won fair battle. Again. That's you, sir. Your doom comes. <laughs> Aim and fire. Try again. Lord, save us all if we ever have to rely on you lot to defend us with bows. Remember, fate is unbelievable. Which one of you did that? I did. What marvelous aim. For a moment, I thought my training was getting into these thick skulls. See if you can hit one of the targets above. What chicken? Sound aim! Amazing! That was a fluke. I bet it was. Yeah. I bet you can't hit that, uh... That chicken. Right over there. The one hanging from the pole. Go on, then. Did hit hit that hanging chicken from here. No cheating. Huh. Huh. To hit that chicken would require some kind of special technique. Well, okay then. Oh, that's mad. Extraordinary. <laughs> that was true skill and aim. Yeah, the voice work on in this game mark. is. <laughs> well, friend, you can it's awesome. The voice work is so King awesome. Constantine and his well-paid picks. And thank you for showing these turnips. And a lot of the voices almost you recognize from again? pretty much all over the place. As for the rest of you. And I am straight up legitimately in Sherwood Forest right now. Won't take long. The thrill of the chase. Sherwood hideout. Should not be seen in this area. Great burst room. Oh, that is. I don't think there should be. But then again, I don't know because <laughs> there's not a whole hell of a lot of input.
That's kind of bizarre. I've not had that happen yet. Because I... For my gaming, it's it's been pretty on point. dude. Whoa, who are these guys? <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool when we take a leap off of some very large structures. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Mentor's Mask. guy which looks more like a muzzle than anything else we'll continue in this general direction wait who's that this guy is. Which was, uh, easy enough. We are legitimately in Sherwood Forest right now. And this is a little bit, a little bit cool. A little bit cool. So which part of England is this in? So we're progressing through Snottinghamshire in kind of the Northumbria area. There is all kinds of neat stuff around here. And then there's whatever this is right over here.
will be avenged. Our bodies may be broken. Our pouch. What happened um, here? An attack gone awry. We oh, found more of Constantine's warriors. pickets right. than expected. That's who those. Okay. The rich have their numbers, both in coin and spears. My men were not ready. And I can call we my horse. He's um. But I'm afraid somewhere. it's not over. They know I still live. Hark! Pick tree enforcements to battle. The spirit of my men are with me, and my spirit with theirs. Threat is gone. What a fight! The picked King Constantine will feel a little lighter in the huh. purse tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for your aid. Um, Call me Abel. I think Reacher. I just Reacher met Sherwin. You know, we could use someone a like Robin Hood of Sherwood Forest. Knaves. The poor get richer and the rich get poorer, thanks to us. We have a hideout in the woods. Drop by sometime. I did not expect that. Share an ale, maybe. Maybe. Well... Until we meet again. Okay. A hideout in the woods. Sounds interesting. Go. Ability damage and stun. Perfect. Yeah, because I can apparently whistle for my horse from just about anywhere and he just sort of shows up. this tip of the spear So the game sound is delayed, huh? Also, the picked warriors feature heavily in Hellblade, which has supposedly an incredible soundtrack along with it as well.
Yeah, that would be kind of strange because the the game audio and everything else is kind of running through the capture card. There we go. Taking care of business. There's treasure all around me. That door is barred. I don't believe there's any way up from here. So let's go this way. Okay. Macbeth. Damn, not enough. chest key.
jump this way. need an anvil for. Got it. <laughs> Whoa. It's a rabid wolf. So it's not just a regular wolf, it's a rabid wolf. Fantastic. So now Eivor has rabies. So how the hell am I supposed to get inside? None of this makes sense. do I get the treasure inside of the keep? There we go. Best not to draw attention here. Book of Knowledge. Kick of Tear, a new ability. That is a new one, actually.
ferocious kick that sends enemies flying backwards. Enemies who strike objects or other enemies will suffer additional damage. You know, I do kind of like that. How will we assign this to this guy? Ah, the outdoor privy. That's what that is. So that guy's done. We gotta find how we get into there. Tungsten. Alright. Note from Dead Norse Noble. The Picts are ruthless and have no qualms in resorting to sneak attacks and ambushes. Our reinforcements never arrived. Only a scout returned, reporting that the Picts had taken them out on the roads as they traveled. We may have better warriors, but the Picts know these lands better than we do. And they will press that advantage to its fullest. Actually, there's not a lot that's known about the, the Picts, historically. Alright, so now we have to figure out how to get to that point, and then we'll start making our way northeast to the actual destination of Jorvik, where we have to travel to. What's this? Are, well, it's the Picts who have taken over the castle, so. You know what, now this feels like Skyrim all over again.
Ok. Ah, it's a Roman artifact. Fabric, iron ore, and leather. Good. More stuff I need. Wait a minute. Let's see if... There you go. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. If you want to see a leap with some form. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Yeah, there, there is so much to do out here. Holy moly. But now, we take our leap of faith. Right? I mean, all of that. All of that is land we explore. I mean, from the top of Northumbria to the very, very southern tip of Wessex. The Dover Cliffs. There is the Sherwood Forest. I mean, this game is nothing short of amazing right now. And the further I push into it, the more I want to experience everything it has to offer. And it's 
It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I can hunt in the forests. I can gamble in the villages. I can drink mead with drunks. <laughs> it's just... It's surreal. It's absolutely surreal. And it is another outpost that has treasure that needs me to liberate it from them. I, I like everything about this game, but mostly it's the exploration that truly just hits it for me. No, um, those are straight up de uh, de decapitations. Like, swing the axe and off comes his head. Oh, was there more treasure inside? It may have been. Yeah, there's more treasure inside. So because I'm using an axe and a hammer, in one hand, or in, in both hands. The weapon configuration that you use actually makes a bit of a difference as you're playing the game. So, my setup is the, the axe, and then the hammer. The hammer is great because it actually knocks enemies to the ground, which then allows me to stomp on them and doing additional damage. But if I want to, I can take like this leap attack, which then... Oops. I've been had... There's bears in there.
<laughs> so let's fight some bears. <laughs> Yeah, see, there goes his head. Yeah, there is a lot of animal killing. But those bears would have straight up murdered me um, had I kind of done nothing about it. Although... can do because if I if I leave the animals to their own devices they will typically go after the enemy which is convenient to say the least great rune of tactics weapon rune so what I can do is I can free them by just allowing them to roam free. And then I'll just kind of like, uh... Skedaddle and... Let them do their thing. Although chances are they, they saw me and they still want to murder me. <laughs> because here they come. Great blunt. So it looks like the weapon runes are actually getting more powerful as I go further through this. Let's see what we can uh, equip to this. Minor rune of tactics. Rage, rune of perfection. Venom, toxin, toxin, combustion. Ooh. Great blunt rune. Let's find that other... Okay. There we go. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. Check the map. Head in that direction. No. Up, up, and away. So as not to turn into the bear's next meal. All right, so in the interest of not murdering them, there we go. 
but you can get various rewards from the hunter in the village when you turn in certain amounts of stuff. Yeah, whereas Subnautica has an incredible underwater world. I'm like Steve Irwin out here with all the wildlife. Uh, what's this? Oh, another fort. Lock Clunber Hideout. Okay. So I did pretty good previously in that last fort. Yeah, there there is a lot of that. They will attack on sight here. It's it's why something like Subnautica is a lot like Phasmophobia, where effectively you are defenseless against anything that you're going up against. That's a boar. Yeah, that's the thing about games like Subnautica and... Ooh, I, I, yeah, don't mind me, I'm just getting murdered by a wild boar. Yeah, games like Subnautica, games like Phasmophobia, you are truly defenseless in a, a, a grand scheme of things where you can't do anything about... The creatures that are trying to effectively just end your existence. And that is a mentor's cloak. Okay. Exactly. And and that's um that's how somebody like uh HP Lovecraft did things. Um Cosmic horror. The inability to actually be able to even understand or for the mind to process the thing that is actually in front of you. Like, it is so foreign, it is so alien that your mind can't handle it. Your mind isn't equipped to fully process the the beast or creature which you know when you think about it and that whole uncan uh, uncanny valley um, kind of kind of concept 
where it's a little bit too close to a human that it's unsettling. It's like a lot of it right there too. And in, in that instance, it's so close to mimicking or copying human or person or or just something like that. It's creepy. Kind of wish I could have a wild boar as a pet. That would actually be kind of neat. Oh, yeah, he got me. Where'd you go? HP Lovecraft is great though. Um, not like the person himself, but the the fact that he came up with a whole new genre of of writing, um, the idea of cosmic horror, the idea that there are things that will, if gazed upon, will break the mind of a man, will send him just inexorably spiraling into untold madness that he will never be able to recover from. Oops. Breathing room here. A little bit too many dudes. Another two skill points. More tungsten. All 
All right, let's find out how to. Oh. guys don't want to quit. That was ideal. You know, I do try to at least be at least, you know, a little bit stealthy, moderately stealthy coming into something like this. And then I try to ride that for as long as I can until things go pear-shaped. So yeah, rush in, cause havoc, sneak away. Although I'm really enjoying all of this stuff here in sort of the, the northern portions of the map. I don't know if I'm going to ride to like a massive precipice here or what's going to happen. Oh, it's all the way over there. Hopefully there's nobody here I have to uh, straight up shank. Light weapon rune, fabric, and iron ore. All things I need in copious quantities. And once again, let's gaze upon this land.
Repton. Repton's all the way back there. Wenlock Abbey. And this is the music that I love to listen to. I was listening to the soundtrack to this game yesterday for quite a bit. Interesting. These guys are all dead. Wolves. That's why. So you weren't supposed to... <laughs> wow, there was some large calamity here. Another dude. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can actually make it to. So we've got 1,500 meters to go. Oh, and two more skill points to use. We have the bear. That's always good. Fire resistance is also super useful. So we're at 246 power level, which is going to take us through a significant portion of this map. What's this?
All right, somehow. Okay, so the key's up there. These cursed spots are so bizarre. Hex scroll one. Freya wields freely the craft of Sather, born of elves for boon and bane. Basically magic. Where is... Oh, there it is. Staring me right in the face. If anyone's seen The Ritual, which is a fantastic movie, by the way, these guys remind me a lot of that. Let's see what's up here. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Back on the horse. What are you? It's down here in the middle of nowhere. Hear the howl of the wolves. <laughs> this is a very eerie quality to it. I mean, it's dusk or it's twilight, there's snow. Nothing here. Oh, whoa, what's this bridge? <sighs> Although apparently there's a settlement over here. Let's discover what this place is. Wow, 
what is wow this was donut castry They are loyal to the Raven Clan, so... Or at least... They're not trying to murder me, so... I'll take that as a plus. <laughs> it's like it's like if you're the horde and you stumble into the alliance al um, any alliance encampment Lotor you're completely correct and then all the guards rush out to mugwump you effectively <laughs> unless it's a giant raid on the capital Which, those get interesting. Or at least I remember them being interesting. I don't know how they are now. Or if people still do that kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, the good old days. Oh. You have more stuff all over the place. We're close. No one does that? Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate. But do you remember Baron's chat? Classic old school Baron's chat. <laughs> Jorvik. It is true. Yeah, I remember old school barons. That was, uh... That was a place, that's for sure. My old friends Yor and Lufin, I live here. That was truly a place. And it's definitely this music that's... Come, come, don't be shy. Sell all the trinkets. I remember old school barons when there was no way to point you in the you direction sure of where your quest your was to me never been used brand new these are locally sourced oh what are the different setting levels on subnautica now that i'm curious are about you sure there isn't uh, something else you wanted i must take my leave so long I think I'm sitting on an entire labyrinth of stuff. Ah, okay. So you can just cruise around wherever you want to go. Jorvik Theater. Oh, 
That's got to be pretty cool. Now, how large are the maps? Like, they, they have to be... Or is it just one gigantic map that you play in? And I have no idea how I'm supposed to get inside the wall. That's got to be nuts. I mean, I know this game has a huge map. But I, I can't even imagine the ocean-sized map that Subnautica really is. So it's just a massive expanse. Door is locked and there is a key somewhere. There's a dead guy in the wall. Snake, snake, snake. Jorvik Theater Crypt Key. That's interesting, though, where you actually have to... Well, I guess it's a lot like this where you have to invest your skill points to level up and be able to get to more difficult areas. All right. Oh. What is all this? That's another key. It is the Jorvik Theater chest key. Oh. Ayla's Bardish. Silver. Nails, silver, silver. Letter to Nephew, part two. You little wanker. You brought them red dames to our Roman tower, didn't you? Bloody show off. If they take anything, I swear to God I'll rip your arse out. Get over here right now, right after you're done, you horny knobhead. Okay. Okay, that that's actually kind of cool, though, to to build a craft to go deeper. I wonder how deep it actually goes, or does it? Does it give you an idea of like how many meters down you go or, or something effectively like that? Oh. 
Oh. What is that? Stave Church. Okay. This is... This is photo time. So we'll save. And then we'll take a photo. Yeah, this is... This is kind of wild right here. This is really cool. That's actually pretty neat. And just the amount of exploration you can do. Yeah, I am on the PlayStation. I've, I've always been a, a Sony PlayStation gamer. It's always kind of been my thing. Although I don't have... I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet. We haven't, we haven't quite hit that point. But we'll get there eventually. I used to do the PC gaming. I wasn't super heavily invested in it. But I did play... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, I did play a lot of Warcraft once upon a time in the day. You've got have like a, a full custom case and everything. My last real cool, um, my last real cool PC case used to be a Viper, and it looked like it had the Dodge Viper um, cutout, and it had the UV reactive. Um, UV reactive plastic in like the the cutout area. It was actually really awesome. That thing had a ton of fans going on with it too, and they were all like, it was all air cooled and everything, but it was all um, you know illuminated uh, illuminated fans and everything else. I am kind of a sucker for like a a cool looking case with the internals exposed and everything. note. The second floor is still unstable. We will retrieve the scrolls stored there when the repairs are complete. Wow. So it is above... So I have to somehow lower that down. Oh, that's pretty cool. The, um, the Viper case I had, it did like, um... Was it? It had a display and a readout on the on the front face that actually had 
all the the temperature display and everything so you knew how hot or cold the thing was running which was pretty cool but yeah that that I think I still have it it's somewhere but I mean all the stuff I had was running um Ooh, there you go. You will be 100% good to go. And there is our book of knowledge. Let's see which skill. Ability upgrade. Rage of Helheim. Which one was that one? Rage of Helheim was this one, so that was... Enter a fit of rage and slam your enemy to the ground. And more blows with faster taps. That one I didn't really use too much because I could never get the timing down. You're going to have a hell of a setup. That That's going to run like everything on maximum settings. And not even break a sweat. I'm just happy I can do all the stuff that I need to do with my laptop. Well, actually, I think it's mostly because of the fact that um, I'm running a capture card, so all Streamlabs has to do is just display the image and upload it to Twitch, and that's it. So I'm pretty, pretty good in that respect. The door is barred, and yet I can just or smash my way right through it. Just kind of like a jerk. <sighs> yeah, my, my laptop setup, it allows me to be at least decently mobile. I can... I predominantly bought it for <laughs> photography stuff and, and being able to take my photos, put it on the laptop, do any touch-ups real quick that I need to do, upload them, send them wherever they need to go. A good traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. My prices are competitive. Okay. Yeah, your your machine yes, isn't right. even gonna blink at the most difficult stuff that you Look send here. at it. The spot I'll mark on your map. A place That's wild. That's totally wild. Everything's around the Yorvik Theater. This is a hell of a construction setup. So whatever it is, is directly below me, so I need to figure out how to get down. There's got to be more to this place. That is going to be cool. That is going to be very cool. Do you have an idea of what you're predominantly going to be streaming? Let's see. I will buy a Yule goat. A Yule goat for your silver? Where are these toy goats, child? I keep them safe elsewhere. My sister and I made them, and they are the finest in the land. I'm not sure 
about being the finest, but I do love them, everyone. <laughs> Where did that kid if you go? have one in the likeness of Tangrishnir, I will take it. Wow! Thank you! I did it, sis! I, I want my goat! I did it. <laughs> sis! Sis! I did it! Someone bought a goat! What about my goat? Where are you going? Okay, that'll be cool. That'll be really, really cool. Oh. Well, that just got dark. Do you have any particular great riding roads that you'd you'd probably take footage of? What is this? Ah, uh, yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. Oh, it's another... Ooh. This is another assassin hero. Yeah, I've always wanted to go and do something like the Tale of the Dragon. And then the stuff like that, or like uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway. Up near me, I have... Uh, well, it's not really near me as much as... Um, well, it's like an hour and a half away, I guess. But... Um, ooh, there's all kinds of stuff around here. I've got the Kangamangas Highway, which goes up and over a section of the White Mountains, up by Loon Mountain Ski Resort and... Uh, Lincoln, New Hampshire. What is this place? Yeah, wow, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Yeah, Bar Harbor up in Maine is supposedly a, a very awesome place to go to. 
Um, actually, up in Lincoln, they advertise um, like moose tours and stuff like that. I've seen a moose, I think, once in my lifetime. And it was when I was way up in Maine. I was up in um, a place called Bingham, Maine, which is truly middle of nowhere type country. I was not aware of that until now. But, um, that's cool. I, I saw a moose while riding a dirt bike down, it was either like a, beside some power lines or like a fire trail or something like that, and it was just, it walked out of the woods, walked across the road, I had come to a stop and I just watched this massive animal cross the trail in front of me and just walk right back into the woods again, and it was, it was actually pretty impressive. And I don't think I've seen a moose since then, to be honest. What's... What's down here? I did, however, see a deer just the other day as I was driving home, and it was running alongside my truck through this neighbor's yard. That's weird. Yeah, because Juju Beans was just saying that the sound was off as well. And I don't know why the sound would be off. Let me see something. Hold on just a second.
Okay. So, we're going to fiddle with some audio settings here. Do, do, do. How about... All right, so I'm going to try something slightly different, and possibly if that works, because I can't hear what's coming out of here. I can only hear what's coming out of my regular game, and everything's synced up to that, but... Either way, we'll give it a shot and see if, it, uh, see if it's worse or better, or just a big old mess. Which, I mean, realistically, I should be listening to the audio coming out of my computer, which is the audio you would be listening to. So... Oh, what's this? All kinds of stuff. Uh, I gotta find the chest key. Thirty seconds off. Hmm. All right. So if it's that far off, I think I might actually have to uh, kind of start fresh here because something else has to be going on. one thing. Alright, so what I'm getting is my audio seems to be synced up on my end, so I wonder what's going on here. Yeah, that's getting kind of bizarre.
All right, let's see. Yeah, so it's got to be between the upload and Twitch at the moment. So, I'm not entirely sure what's up with this. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the audio actually isn't running through the game, or at least for, for me talking into my microphone, it's going right into Streamlabs. And my game and game audio is running right through everything. So, yeah, there's no delay actually on the game itself, and I've not changed any options for Streamlabs, so this is unusual. wonder if I'm going to have to fully reset Streamlabs and everything else. I am certainly open to suggestions, that's for sure. No, nothing. All right. Well, I, I do appreciate the assistance in trying to figure this one out.
Oh, what do we got here? No, I think that's the same spot that it put me. Or maybe not. Maybe I just missed something. Yeah, so I'm probably going to have to end up resetting my whole... Uh, Full setup and connection, everything. I'll, I'll reboot my computer. Which. Oh, the, um. I think I should, I should still be, uh, broadcasting in 1080. Which. That was one of the, the key reasons. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm watching that, actually. And I've got only... Uh, I'm running at 30 frames per second completely. And... It's not taking up more than 10% of my CPU, so there's no issues there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to reset everything cuz that's really off. <laughs> that is incredibly incredibly off. So, I don't know what I can change from my end further. Um hmm. Either way, I really did want to get those. We'll just finish collecting the stuff here in the Hidden One Sanctum. No, it's not actually. Um, 
all of the audio settings. The sync offset is all set for zero. And let me just check the mixer. Audio. Output. What if we do this? Yeah, that's not, that's not doing anything. Okay, so I think Yeah, me too. I'm going to um I think what I'm going to do is take this opportunity to wrap things up for the moment. And I will try to fiddle with things on my end. But Lotor, I do super appreciate the help um, because, yeah. <laughs> This is this is still new territory for me as well. So I'm I'm just kinda muddling my way through things, but I, I do really, really appreciate the assistance with this. And I'm gonna give everything a full and complete restart. So I'm gonna restart my PlayStation, laptop, Streamlabs, all of it. So I'm gonna go from there. And Maybe during this interlude, I will grab some food because it's about 7 o'clock on my end. And um, I may pop back on for a little while. And I may... <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. If I can if I can figure this out, I'll, I'll, I'll see what goes. But Lotor, as always, thank you very much. Oh, we, you're, you're an Eastern Standard as well? All right, that's cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> seeing as how, seeing as how Gigi's on the uh, the Eastern Seaboard now instead of uh, three hours behind us, <laughs> that always amused me. It could be that too. That's true. So I will. Um, yeah, maybe just resetting everything, giving it a couple minutes, and then. Uh, See what it does from there. But, alright. Thank you again. What's what? Oh. No, that's right, Juju Beans. You're not on the eastern... East east Coast. You'll be, you'll be live from the East Coast on Wednesday.
and you won't be, what is it, two hours behind? Something like that? Alright, but for now, I'm going to wrap it up and see if I can't make something happen from this end. And as always, thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, as much as things got a little bit buggy on this, uh, on this end of things. And if you haven't, hit the follow button. Follow along on my misguided journey of stumbling through Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yes, and have a nice day. Because it is still snowy and garbagey outside. But for now, catch y'all later.